The only cigarettes I smoke is the ones I roll. I don't put any filter in, so it's okay. But don't believe me. You can say whatever it is. You can say it's a joint if you want. I mean, come on over. You want to smoke a bone with me, bring your own. You know, I cut my own up and I slice it. I dice it. I roll it and I make it real nice. But Jeeper, I got something to show you, sort of. Well, I, I, I got a couple of things that I just sort of want to look at. Because it, it, was, it, was, it was a funny little thing that a friend of mine... And I don't mind if, I, I, I think he's my cousin, right? Uh, yeah, I'm proud of this guy. This guy does a lot of good work. And um, he, he just put on um, a couple of beautiful little animals. I'm going to read you a story that I sent him back, okay? And it's all about listening to how I would say it. What's that in the background? I'm at the art shop again. I hang out at the art shop. You got kids upside down on their backs, drilling the holes, and batting the eyes on the floors, on the walls, on the doors, on the ceilings over the toilet. And that one I got the best one, because the toilet, you all know, my friends, the toilet's the place. You ever hear of a septic tank? Yeah. Sept is number seven, and that's a gateway in. Is it a gateway out, and they call it the sept way? The seven's way, out from the ass, or is that the position of the gateway? Well, let me show you these little guys and tell you what I said. Okay, and I said it like this. Ah, who? The question is, tell me, Upper? No, the guys are per de lui. Ooh, ooh. Ooh in French is where? Are per. Ah, you are scared to play the harp? No, Arthur, scared. He is scared of the song. I am scared of the harp, not the harp, but the harp. Burr. Scared of the song with the big guys of the Arthur. Arthur, my big guys, check me out. We scared of the R. Per, in one word, it says we are scared of you before they put them in. They put an H in the front, but the H is usually silent, and they barely express it or say it, because it doesn't mean more in his name than an A-R-P, which is an ARP. Okay? A and R is angel resident. P is the one spirit which is following the other spirits. He is only a decoy. That's all. That's why he doesn't really care, because he can't do anything about it. He knows. But he's going to turn around and sing you a nice song and dance. And just thank you for bringing in these cute little owls because um, I like them. I think they're uh, they're they're cute. I, I think I think they're cute. Um, so I'm just gonna pick up this and finish off what I was saying. That did I show you the one three eight trick? And the one three eight trick is like this. La 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 Hey, the commercial's over. Well, how come nobody told me? You never see anybody here. Maybe you have in my other videos. But if you don't see them, I may have just have made them up. I don't think anybody's ever here. What? Pussy, I got a cat. Maybe that's what you see. Do you see any animals on my face right now? Any monkeys in the sky? Boy, what I'd like to get to my painting. But I'm complaining all the time. Too much, too much. Okay, so here's how we do it. The one, three, and eight. First we make the digital box. The center of anything is always through the center. So we split up or connect the digital box. Then we go around the digital dots. This is an imaginary line. We go around the digital dots, and from the three, and from two dots, we get one, three, and eight. We can do it as that, or we can now throw it into this realm over here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. The letter B. This is the backbone for the letter B. This is where she starts. This is where the tail begins. She comes out. And one on this side. Anyways, um, that's not where I was first. <laughs> Could have been there last. <laughs> hmm. um, what did I want to say now? Um, hmm. I'm thinking. 
I'm thinking one, three, and eight. One, three, and eight. Um, what else would I? I did this in a video already, so I can't redo this. So I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to um, redo this one since I'm short in the video. In 1963, I was born. Okay, that would have been okay. Twenty-five thousand five hundred and nineteen moons plus. 87 moons is the carryover moons. 25,606. Add 19, it's 25,625. The Mayan said in the year 25,625, what was going to happen in the year 25,625? Because this is my, I have to do the calculation now so I can tell it's your exact. Okay, hold on a second. Clear. 1963 times uh, 13 equals 25,519 plus 87 more moons for the day and a quarter times, uh, is it 1.25 for times, um, hold on, 1963 times, times, times 1.25 equals 2453 days divided by 28 moon equals 87.63 of 92 of 85 to 71 of 42 of 857. 6339 to start. Beautiful. Creation of one. Three or one is the same thing. If you say the year 3900, you said the year 1963, same thing. Because the one is in the center of that. It, it depends. If you put the numbers here, the center one is this one. If you put the numbers here, it becomes the center of that one. Just move the numbers over one area. Use two instead of three numbers. So we end up with 25,606. But by the time I reach 19 more moons, and we always have to have a number of something, which is almost, which is a year and seven months, which is, comes to the letter S. Once we've lived enough months to come to the letter S, Maybe that's when our first spirit comes to us at the 19th moon. When you hit that 19th moon from birth, okay, you will have reached um, actually uh, 25, yeah, that's right, you would have reached 25,625 once you've reached the, uh, the 19th. Uh, what does that mean? I don't really know, but what I do know is from the time you reach the 19th moons of who I am, okay, of 49 years old. So I got to click this off and go 49 years old times 13 equals 637 moons. Why don't we do it a little bit differently? 49 times 365.2 by equals 17,897 days, but I don't want to do it that way. No, I want to do it for my 51st birthday. 51 times 365.25. It's all basic math. It's, 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 it's all math. It's the question of what we're going to do when we use the math. Where are we going with it? Are we going to use 0.25? Is it going to be a decimal? Will it be something that where decimals don't exist, so we've got to drag everything without a decimal? And for reasons, for places where they go. There's many, many things I can say. Anyways, um, um, equals 18627. So 18627.75 divided by 28 days for the moon equals 665 moons and I think I have to add 20.25 
days. So if I had 20.25 days, okay, or just convert that into years, 2025, or it means one quarter. One quarter of what? Or is it one quarter of one half? And card and chair, because that's an expression I always hear. Regardless, the dice cube is 21. 0.75 is missing from the 21 to create the 666 moon at the age of 51 years old. Area 51, 0.0, 0.75 is missing from this equation. Where is the 0.75? Now, I can tell you where it is on the roulette wheel because there's a 5775 combination on the spin. On the thing that spins, there's combinations that comport to have a, a, a valid reason to mean something. So I would go in there and I would find 5775. And now, onto this day for myself, I have seen with my own eyes, they are now marking it. They've come up with a computer game talking about these numbers in this sequence, 5775, and calling it the orphan sequence. So it, it's, for me, this is all real. There's, there's a, a huge reality to everything I think about. Um, uh, another little thing I was going to say, October has four O's in it. Two in the word, one in the tenth month, one on the tenth day, one on the twentieth day, and one on the thirtieth day. No other month is as many O's as October. But October doesn't end on an O. It ends on a 1. O1 starts on 1-2, ends on 1-0. Up and down the ladder we go, which months does it say? Up and down the ladder we go, on to another day. There must be something we can learn in this. January, February, June, July, August. Boom, boom, bang. All months with the letter U. October. Okay, you know what's funny about October? If I, if I can remember, it's got an 87 letter count. 8 plus 7, 15. 15th letter, another zero, another moon. A and E, because you know with every zero, you get an A and an E. That's right. There's an arts and entertainment coming with every passage inside this world. And septic, number seven, how about this? Talking about importance. The septic, like a tick tank, which is where all the shit goes when you go to the can. The septic operations. Um, oh, there's so many more things. So many more things. 365.25 divided by 5. Guess what? Angle on your telephone, 3, 5, and 7. 73 and 37 is the top of the Twin Towers. 3 by 37 is 111, which is the root of the Twin Towers. 3 times uh, 73 is 219. 2 times 19 is 38. And that's part of the connections of the moons. The moons start to connect. We're going to have the moons connecting. I want to know more about Nibiru. Nibiru, a brune planet. The road, a path. It, uh, uh, it's going somewhere for some. They're just planning it. They don't want us to flip out, you know. Don't forget, life is real. The lies in life, if they're true, the more true they are, the more unreal. Life becomes, because you're living the truth in their reality, not the truth in the reality that you were made to be, but in the, in the position you were placed to be. For my own heart, for my own bipolar heart and my own bipolar mind, okay, unless I start making a headway in selling something, getting a book out, getting some of my art out. Right now, all I can be do, done to me is being pulled down. If none of this is true, I know my bipolar mind is going to get deceived and start to think, oh my God, maybe death is real. Maybe after is real. What are you talking about, is real? Where, where is it, is real? Is real? Death is real? No, it's not. Death to Israel? No, never. Well, what? Death is real. I'll show you. You think I was going to leave this one out? Tum, tum, tum.
probably on the page before the page before I turn the page, right? What do you think? Okay, I'll show you. I'll have to write it down. Okay, look. One, five, center. Center of two sides. It's real. That's what it's all about. We're connected. Don't you understand? The only reason an eight can exist is because there are, let's say, number seven. Let me, let me show you. Here, 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 here. Here, let's do this. Seven and nine. Okay? The nine swings swings right next to seven and comes back into nine, leaving now two bubbles. Do you know why I did that? Is because what happens is seven would be over here, eight would be in the in the center and nine would be over here. And it's even like that on the clock. So what happens is the draft stretches out the neck all the way to nine. There's nothing here. In number eight position, there's nothing. Just space. No walls, nothing. You move in between that space, and there's a wall here and a wall here. You take up both sides. So you take up the eight. So when the draft comes over to here to connect you, the beam into the next world, seven to nine to four. Because don't forget, on the number four, when you draw number four, seven and one to number four, seventh gate presents itself in the fourth position, disguised. One and seven came together under disguise. Stretch out giraffe and let somebody come into the game. A new child is born. And he's born for all of us. But we cannot know his name. Because he's with us and in this game. He doesn't know himself or she doesn't know herself. Don't you think if this was a game, there has to be some kind of ploy in the game? So maybe there's a reality that there's a messiah or a saint. Somebody will come and then present somebody else, a council. And everything will have to go through the council, but there's going to be a last word. And the last word can only be spoken by he who speaks the truth, the whole truth, the only the truth, and nothing but the truth. So help us all that there should not be a God, there should be a God, or there should be no truth at all. Thank you for watching, Raphael, 7286. Thank you for watching. Remember the spin age, Popeye, and all live because we all live. The only way to win this game, okay, at the end, is who can talk. Who talks and who tells the truth. It's the only way to win. You know the wars end in the office. They don't end on the battlefield. They war on the battlefield. One guy looks at one guy. The other guy looks at the other guy. He goes, hmm. He goes, we're losing. The other guy goes, yeah. What are you going to give up before we quit? And they go, well, we'll give up this. Man. Okay, guys, quit. It's not one on the field. It's one there. It's how you speak up in the office. Oval, Raphael, 7286, and the Consolation of Pegasus. Thank you for watching.